Hello everyone, this is the Motion Nerd right here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do this paper transition effect on After Effects very easily. First of all, we have this effect, these images right here that we're gonna work with and I'm gonna be providing you with these two assets for free. Just go ahead and download them from the link in the description below. And today we're gonna be using the Paper Rip too. We just drag it and drop it here. As you can see, here's how it looks. We can uh, uh, scale it down, but I won't scale it down all the way because I want to do something uh, else with it. So what we do first is we go ahead, click on our subject, as you can, you can see right here, I have separated him from the background. It depends on whatever you want to do, but this is how I do it. We select our uh, uh, subject we want to uh, to reveal here, so we can give it a mask. So we go ahead and mask along the borders of the paper rip so it doesn't sh show just a pretty rough mask right here and as you can see it's already looking pretty good and what we do we go ahead here and reveal the position give it a keyframe click M give the mask path a keyframe we go ahead 10 frames or so and here's what we do we bring this paper all the way here make sure you do it diagonally so you can have some variation in the uh, paper effect just bring it down here then you go ahead let's hide this then you go ahead and just bring the mask down just above about that and what we do here next just make this all the way out of here it doesn't need to go out of out of the edge because I'm gonna show you why so here's what we do here we bring this all the way up like this as you can see this is the effect sometimes it might go out of out of bounds like this right here So you can just go ahead and fix it, just like this. And uh, one thing else that we should do is we should duplicate this and delete the keyframes and the mask and just hide it and pick this matte track and do it like this. So the the effect only, the paper only appears on the, uh, the subject and not on the background. And as you can see here, here is how it is. That's exactly how it is. So we have this effect right here. This is how it should look. You can go ahead and ease your keyframes and do so. Easing your keyframes will need extra work. So uh, what we're gonna do, I'll just go ahead and bring our keyframes a bit closer but as you can see it does get in the way of that so we will have to be sure of what we're doing so exactly this is what happens and uh, that's it and if you want guys you saw the project you're gonna find it in the link in the description below that's all for today thank you see you soon